for Brooking. Well, I suppose few players would have had the audacity and indeed the skill to try a chip from there, but Trevor Brooking tried it, and in the end it wasn't very far over the Grimsby crossbar. Bounce of the ball beating Martin, but Lampard was right behind him. Pike's header, this is Stone for Grimsby. Brolly. Mitchell. Brolly again. Finkel turning quickly and earning the free kick for that challenge by Alvin Martin. Free kick will be indirect. Shaw for Brolly. Cox saves it and misses it. And Grimsby have pulled one back through Stone. So, as the game moves into the final minute, John Stone making the most of Phil Park's misfortune there. The free kick tapped short for Brolly. He drove it really hard through the crowd of players. Although Parks stopped it, he couldn't hold on to it. And when it ran loose, Stone was there to hit it into the roof of the net. And Grimsby at least gets some reward. And that's the first time in six away games they've managed to score. Steeples. Oh, I wonder, could Grimsby uh, have a surprise up their sleeves here? Uh, well into time added on for stoppages. So who would have believed that West Ham would, in the end, be holding on for the, the second point? But indeed, they've done just that. And two goals by David Cross, who was the first man to disappear from the field down the players' tunnel, have earned two more points for West Ham. It's their 11th consecutive win here at Upton Park this season. And Grimsby Town continue to find life hard, having won promotion in successive seasons. They're now firmly rooted in the bottom half of the second division. But that late goal by Stone will at least give them some consolation and a final score of West Ham 2, Grimsby Town 1. Well, there it is, two goals from David Cross, bringing his total to 18 for the season so far. And while David keeps scoring, West Ham look unstoppable. But extraordinarily, the records in previous years indicated that David finds it much harder to find the net after Christmas. In five of the last seven seasons, he scored 44 up to Christmas and only 16 afterwards. And in an attempt to unravel the mystery, Alan Parry took it up with David, as well as discussing yesterday's match. Well, David, that's 18 goals now, a remarkable season. Why do you think it's going so well for you? Um, I don't honestly know. There's no particular reason why I should be scoring the goals rather than anybody else. Although in saying that, of course, Paul Goddard's got uh, 89 this season. I just think, I said it before, but I think it's true. We are a side who do create a lot of chances. And uh, now that I've been here nearly three years, I know the... I know what to expect of the other players and when they're going to release the ball into the box. And very often I can anticipate crosses going in and uh, I think I've just been able to take advantage of that this season. Um, it may just be a coincidence that I've scored a lot up till now. Well, the first goal was uh, as the result of a player who really came into the side only because of injury, Paul Brush. Uh, yes, Paul came, uh, he came into the team on Wednesday in Romania and he did very well for us. And he played the full game today. And um, he, I can vaguely remember that he... He had the ball and was tackled, and uh, he, he kept his ground and got up and crossed a great ball in for me. And really, it was just a matter of me nodding the ball into the net because the, the defender was uh, was lost. Trevor Brooking came back into the side today, and you had one fine link up between you down the uh, right wing. Um, oh yes. Yeah. Uh, well, Trevor can read me now, I suppose, as well as I can read him. So um, it's just a matter of getting on with it. We noticed you at one point talking and laughing with somebody in the crowd and you seem to accept the referee's decisions with a smile on your face as well. You seem to be really enjoying your game. Well, I try to. I mean, it's very hard to enjoy um, football as it is at the moment because it's, it's very hard. It's a hard. I find it a hard job. 
uh, it doesn't come easy to me. So uh, I tried to get myself in a situation where I can score a couple of goals and then start enjoying it. And luckily this season that's worked out for me. Well, now you won't thank us for this, but somebody's looked back through the records and it appears that over the last few seasons, uh, your goal scoring record has dropped off remarkably after Christmas. So did you know about that? Yes, it's something I've been aware of. Last season I scored about a dozen goals up till Christmas and then got a bad injury that kept me out for about two and a half months. So obviously, um, you know, it was difficult for me to pick up where I left off once I came back from the injury. Uh, but it's something I've been aware of in the past and it's something obviously I've got to work at. Why do you think it is then? Um, I don't honestly know. Um, as we were, we were saying before, you know, it's very difficult to put your finger on why things should happen. I mean, if I knew why things should happen, then I would have scored um, a, lot of, a lot more goals throughout my career. But um, it's difficult to pinpoint. Uh, perhaps I don't work as hard in the second half of the season as in the first, and obviously that's something I've got to put right. Well, David Cross's goals enabled West Ham to move within a point of Notch County, who drew at home to Derby. Chelsea's 1-0 win over Oldham kept them in third place, and the top three have now opened a three-point gap on Swansea, Blackburn and...